Support Wrestle Talk. Follow us on Twitter. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I am Luke Owen. WWE and the Young Bucks have had a long and complicated history. In 2011, after leaving TNA, the team had a tryout match for the company, but they have since revealed that they only did this to stir up publicity because they had actually signed for Ring of Honor. And then in 2014, WWE reached out to them to offer another tryout match, which the duo turned down. Due to all of this, they've not really been in the company's good books. WWE tried to take the Bucks' catchphrase super kick party and apply it to their wrestlers. They sent a cease and desist for using the clicks too sweet hand gesture. And Mark Henry once told Roman Reigns in a promo on an episode of SmackDown that you young Bucks haven't been anywhere, which was reportedly a shot at the team turning down the 2014 tryout. But the young Bucks are a very popular tag team, and Bobby Heenan always said that Vince McMahon wants what he can't have, and it seems he may still want them. WWE social media team tweeting about Matt and Nick Jackson during Kenny Omega's Street Fighter V bout with Xavier Woods at E3 was one thing, but now they've taken it one step further. WWE have started following Matt Jackson on Twitter. Now I'm not prone to hyperbole, but this might be the biggest wrestling news story since the Montreal screw job. When it was pointed out to Matt that WWE were now following him on social media, he played it cool and explained, I've got a pretty good Twitter. I don't blame them. This of course doesn't really mean anything and certainly doesn't mean that WWE are interested in signing the Young Bucks. I'm not even sure Vince McMahon knows what a Twitter is. But as Wrestling Inc. note, the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega's ROH contracts expire next February, and every great story has its first single step. In some actual news, Shinsuke Nakamura wasn't on this week's episode of SmackDown Live, where he was scheduled to face Jeff Hardy for the United States Championship. Instead, Hardy teamed with the Usos to beat Sanity in their debut match on the main roster. Yep, nope, that's still f stupid. It was then reported by Dave Meltzer that the reason Nakamura was taken off TV was because he was bitten by a police dog during a house show. Although he was backstage for SmackDown, he was still injured enough that he couldn't wrestle. And now the Bakersfield Police Department have issued a statement about the incident saying, on Monday, June 25th, 2018, officers of the Bakersfield Police Department Explosive Ordnance Disposal Team were conducting a protective sweep of the Rabobank Arena in preparation for the W. WWE Live SummerSlam Heatwave Tour. During the sweep, the EOD team, which consisted of an explosive detection trained canine team and bomb technicians, entered an area of the arena where an employee of the World Wrestling Entertainment was present. The canine entered the room to sweep for the presence of any explosive material. As the sweep took place, the WWE employee was accidentally bit by the canine. The employee sustained an injury to his lower left leg. Medical aid was immediately summoned to the scene and the employee was transported to a local area area hospital for medical treatment. I mean, it's a nice statement, but I think you'll find it's a local medical facility. And speaking of big dogs, Dolph Ziggler sure is getting a big push. Big push. Ooh. In a move that pretty much no one saw coming, Dolph Ziggler won the Intercontinental Championship from Seth Rollins on Monday Night Raw last week. While it may have seemed out of the blue, PW Insider may have revealed the reason why he won and is now getting a big push. Mike Johnson noted, I don't know how WWE will follow up on this, but if they are smart, they're well on their way to finally, after so many years, rebooting Dolph Ziggler and getting him into a position of prominence. Now what's interesting is Ziggler's deal is up later this summer. If they are going to invest in Dolph and get him to re-up with this company, now is the time to do it. And while this could just be Johnson speculating about contracts, Ziggler himself sort of confirmed this deal earlier this year. In February, Justin Barrasso of Sports Illustrated reported that Ziggler had signed a new two-year $1.5 million contract, and WWE wanted him to re-sign, which is why he randomly won the United States Championship and was inserted into the Fast Line 5 way for the WWE Championship. But just before WrestleMania, Ziggler denied that he'd re-signed with the company, saying, My father called me to congratulate me on my deal that I had re-signed, and I said, What are you talking about? It's fun to have internet rumors out there, but even if and when I do re-sign, I won't be like, Hey everyone, here's the details of this contract. There's a short amount of time left on this contract. We're negotiating and we'll see what happens. Ziggler's short amount of time comments were in April, which ties into Johnson's claim that his deal is up shortly. Did Ziggler beat Rollins to sweeten the deal, or are there their bigger plans in place for the show off. Poor old Seth Rollins is this month's OOG cover slayer on the WrestleTalk magazine. Order your copy of issue 5 today by clicking the image on screen right now. I have been Luke Owen and that was wrestling.